Hello everybody, my name is Gary Brave and has yet another video. And in today's video, a bit more Stardew as it is that day of the week to do a bit more Stardew. Today, you know, not starting at the usual point of waking up. Maybe because, you know, this was actually just kind of me I was actually just actively playing, grinding some stuff out when uh it started raining and I don't know how often it's actually gonna rain because the last time I did this when I was playing with uh a couple of friends on co op I'm pretty sure it only rained two times during the uh, during the spring, which is the time when the legend is available. So real quick, because it is raining, I'd like to showcase a couple of things. Mainly that of attempting to catch the legend, who is a very who is the hardest legendary fish. Who you just come right over to here. Uh, how it's said is that he is under he is right here at the sunken log. So you basically just gotta come over here, you could probably do it from like over here or so, and cast out to here. And that'll allow you to get to the area that he's able to be caught in. Uh, and then you just kinda have to hope this is just another uh, pure luck based thing. Is Do you get lucky enough for the 10% chance to say, yes, I will let you have the legend up here. You also probably notice a couple of interesting things in my inventory. Uh, this is kind of the what I have just uh, acquired and kind of built because I was actually just going to be heading into uh, the, the the desert because that is actually what I've been doing is exploring and trying to do the desert area, the Skull Cavern. Uh, so, you know, I have a little bit of food. I have a crab cake for the speed and defense and a spicy eel, which I actually found from killing somebody for speed and luck, which that was actually just because I killed something that dropped that. I didn't make it or anything. So I'm just kind of lucky to have that. This was found. I have a whole bunch of the biggest bomb so that I can try to, uh, you know, anytime I need to, I can just blow up a huge chunk of rocks. I do have an iridium pickaxe, which means that uh, basically every rock there for the most part is able to be broken in one hit other than gold ore, diamond, iridium, and big rocks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why with an iridium pickaxe I can't break the gold ore in one hit. You would think that... Because I believe that every upgrade that you've gotten would allow you to break the previous ore in one hit. Like the silver pickaxe or the iron pickaxe, whatever it is, allows you to break copper in one hit. Gold will let you break uh, iron in one hit, but iridium does not let you break gold in one hit. It is still two hit. So, you know, there's that. I also have you know, little bits of food here and there, and then anything that I find there to hopefully make it a bit easier. Also, I am hoping that this is the right spot to be able to catch the, uh, the legend I believe this is. At least from what I've read is that you just you stand here, you cast out to here, and there's a 10% chance that it'll spawn on any day that is raining during uh, spring season. If it doesn't appear now, then, uh, well, then I might have to just do a little bit more research. But this episode won't just be this, I'll hopefully also go and catch the mutant carp and also give out the mermaid pendant, which is the item needed to marry somebody. It is only available while it is raining, because that is when the old mariner is just kind of just over there at the uh, east side dock area. He's just kind of stanced up, waiting, and then once you go over there, you pay five grand and you get this. So now all I have to do is go find Abigail and ask her to marry me. And then in three days, married. That'll be the wedding, and then she'll live with me. And basically, when I'm running, I was uh, I had a mission where I was supposed to kill a whole bunch of grubs. So I have a whole bunch of uh, bait now, because the bug meat can be turned into bait. So I've got plenty of bait. And then the uh, tackle that I'm using is the trap. Is the uh, trap bobber. What that does is it makes it to where when, they, if they're, uh, when they're outside of your little uh, your bar when they're outside of the little green thing that he's currently inside of, uh, the actual real in bar moves down slower. So you have a bit more leeway when they're trying to escape from you. Solely for the fact that you have, uh, it just slows it down for you a bit, which is something that's, ooh. As you can see, it's something very much so needed for the legendary fish, as I'm sure you saw in the glacier of fish video, and maybe here if I can catch the legend, but yeah, he would have already escaped by now if I did not have the trap bobber, he probably is going to escape on this one, because unless he 
really starts working with me or if he or if I'm just lucky enough to predict his movement well enough but it seems like he is not being super cooperative but hopefully this won't be the only time that I ever see him on this rainy day and also hopefully uh, a few more rainy days happen this month so that I can spend them all attempting to catch this dumb fish. I only am doing this because I want to show that I caught every single fish. That's the only reason why I'm really actively like going for fish like this is because I just want to be able to say, hey look, I caught every fish. I'm really good at the game. And you can only get one legend per save file, like one legendary of each of the five legendary fish. You can only catch them once per save. So once I catch this, that'll be it. That'll be the legend caught, which is why I want to do it on camera because uh, I did the glacier fish on camera. I'll try to do the mutant carp on camera, and I did not do the angler on camera, unfortunately. But that is probably the least fun one. I mean, once uh, he was like found. I caught him first try, as he is, I believe, the easiest of the three. So, I believe he is like a level three or level five fishing is what it's recommended that you have. So, I had level, I think at the time I had level seven fishing when I caught him. So, he was fairly easy to catch. Oh, yeah. You can also hit E while reeling in, and that'll just instantly finish the uh, the attempt, oop, did not mean to click there, it'll instantly finish the attempt, so if you're just not going for it, if you don't think you're going to be able to catch it, or if uh, maybe you're looking for a specific fish, like I can technically just see this, see it's not the legend, and then just hit E, and it'll just instantly uh, just stop catching it, so I can basically have more time to be attempting to catch this fish. So, but I'm not going to do that, because... This is also just getting me some money, and uh, I could always use a bit more money. So I'll just be catching all the fish, although this is damaging my bobber every time. I probably should have either made or bought a second one, so that I can have a backup for when and if this one breaks. So that it's an easy time for the off chance that I do uh, reel in the legend again. Legend is worth a lot of money. He is... I believe that you're almost guaranteed to be getting him as gold star. Because uh, the quality increases from how far uh, far out it is from you. So being that I am zone 5, meaning that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares away from me. Uh, that should basically... it increases how likely... Uh, it is a fish over anything else, how likely tre uh, treasure will appear, and how likely the quality of the fish, purple being the highest, also known as Iridium Star. So, hopefully I will get me at least a Gold Star Legend. That'll be worth a decent chunk of change from me. But, you know, if I only hit Silver, you know, I'm not trying to catch the Legend for money. If I was going for money, then I would just go ahead and fish in the ocean, or I try to catch the lava eel, because they sell for a decent amount, and they are re-catchable. You can catch as many as you like. They are not legendary. They are just very, very rare, and very hard to catch. But, you know, can't always go for, you know, get exactly, ah, man, exactly what I want. Uh, if I don't catch it, like, today, then uh, the video will have two other things at least, the proposal and hopefully the marriage also to Abigail and also um, ooh, uh, also me going and trying to catch the mutant carp which is a lot easier than catching uh, this guy because the legend the mutant carp is available at any time of the year at any time of day there's no standing in a special spot it is just have the sewer unlocked. So basically as soon as you have donated 60 artifacts, you'll be able to go down and try for him. I believe that he is the easiest or the second easiest fish to catch according to uh, uh, according to difficulty rating. 
uh, he, he was pretty easy to catch when I caught him over on the other account, and then obviously, uh, hopefully I can also showcase that he's fairly easy when catching him on this account. I also, oh no, I, I showed you guys Krobus in the other video, because I did actually go down there and I had that weird cutscene cut with him and, uh, him the dwarf, who I have, I've never seen that one, I don't actually know why that happened. Uh, this is actually being recorded the same day that the other video was recorded, so this is like a few hours apart, which is why there is, uh, man, why there's like very little time actually gone through. So mainly what I've did in the off time was uh, grinded out a little bit of stuff in the desert to try and get that all taken care of. Uh, yep, yep, okay. Yeah, now it is kind of pointless at this point because I'm not going to be able to uh, to do it without the trap bobber because I need the ability to have it stay still long, like to be able to when it's out of my my grab. I need to be able to just stay still long enough for me to uh, to reel it in. But it's all right. I will hopefully be able to get it on another rainy day. Maybe it'll rain tomorrow or even the next day. Uh, I'm picking up a bunch of daffodils because uh, a lot of people like daffodils. It might be a universal like. I don't remember if it's a universal like or if just a lot of people like the daffodil. But whatever the reason is, uh, I pick them up to be able to use them later on. Hey, Abigail. Man, surprise, surprise. Guess what? Well, I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. Hey, <laughs> me married. I never thought this would happen. We're gonna have a lot of fun together. Kiss. Yes. Yes. Hey, don't even think about it. That's private. What? No, just come over to kiss. Kiss. Oh, of course, my favorite. Uh, kiss. 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 Let's just look at the height difference. <laughs> Alright. Ha, huh, idiot. I'm marrying your daughter. Ha ha. Get out of my way, Pierre. Teleport through me. Nyom. Oh, okay. Ooh, so in three days, so on the 7th. 7th of spring. Ah, oh, today's Ken's birthday. Cool. And I hope you're getting married on Lewis's birthday. On the other... On my... The account that I'm playing with my friends, I am actually married to her on her dad's birthday. Which is just hilarious to me that I married her on her dad's birthday. I'm like, flexing on her dad. Hey, Ken, I got this for you. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. If you don't know, like, you guys probably have never seen Kent before. Uh, Kent is actually somebody who, he has been gone, because he's been at, he's been, uh, at war, like, in a war for the very, for the whole first year. He's at war, uh, and then he, he comes home right on the very first day uh, when you wake up and you go outside of your house. He appears and he goes, hey, uh, I've been away, I'm Jody's husband, blah blah blah, and then he's just a, a new character that you can try to become friends with. So, just a, a neat old person. Yep, so I have, shouldn't, hopefully shouldn't be too hard, hopefully I can actually... Get it? If I had to do, you know, a second day doing this, then that's fine. I'd prefer to be able to have, you know, time to go do something else. Yeah, you can't just catch normal fish in here, which is interesting that normal fish would be able to spawn down here. I mean, I don't see why they couldn't, but, you know, the fact that the, there's the, the mutant carp and just normal carp. Down here, I guess it makes sense that every single carp would have been mutated. In fact, only one carp is mutated per save file. So, but hey, hopefully I'll catch in the uh, hour or so that I have left. So, but then after that, it'll probably just be some kind of, if I can catch it here, and then maybe even have like another, ra if I don't have any more rainy days, or if I'm able to potentially catch the legend in this video, uh, then I will have, then I'll probably go and, uh, showcase a bit more of the desert now that I have, uh, the Iridium pickaxe and I'm, uh, I have, like, more, like, proper food for going in there as it is a defense speed up. Uh, there is better ones. I believe there is a food that gives you three defense, which is probably the one that you want to go with 
because I mean any extra bit of defense is that means you know every extra bit of defense is less damage you take so having that will be very strong to, strong indeed oh my god Yeah, as you can see, definitely way less spastic and crazy than Pick of the other, the, the legend. So. Come on. Yeah, he's not, you know, as spastic. He's not, like, glitching, looking all, all over the place. And there it is. You've got one of the legendary fish, Mutant Carp. Holding it upside down, 35 inches. And it's a nice little purple frame behind it, as it is a, uh high value item a very like, high value rare item so they usually will have like the special background like that but you know i was able to catch it so at least today i would i can say that i caught one of the legendary fish so i can put that for a little bit of information maybe with the title I probably i don't know what the title of this episode will be but this is yes being recorded on tuesday but it does not go up until thursday so uh, I will be sitting on this video for a good long while, but that's alright. I'm keeping the leak because uh, George likes leaks. And the reason why I want to be able to become friends with George, of all people, is the fact that uh, George gives you the recipe. My lord, I gotta make more of these. Uh, George is the one who gives you the recipe for the spicy eel. This thing right here, he gives you the recipe for the spicy eel. Uh, and the reason why I want that is the fact that um, Abigail loves spicy eel. So I'd like to be able to, to give her that. So that I... Uh, I mean, I don't need to be getting her to... Yeah, you know, I don't necessarily need to. Because I can quite simply just give her amethyst all the time. Which... I have plenty of amethyst, and I in fact gain pretty much infinite amethyst. Twenty-two fifty, not bad, not bad. I base I gain unlimited amethyst. I think I get one a day for my little uh, crystallarium, so I don't probably don't need to worry too much. Yeah, and you can tell I haven't actually done anything else other than play this because I actually still don't quite know how that works, unfortunately. And beautiful sunny day not what you want to see. So then I guess what I'll do is take that and I will take that and then I will put the fishing pole away. Uh, these two, can put that away. Oh, I actually just saw I have a bobber in there actually. I actually saw that there is a lead bobber in there that I could probably, if I knew I had, I actually could have been using. Yeah, I keep forgetting to feed my chickies, so they're all very disgruntled with me. It's the fact that A, I, haven't, I, don't keep, I keep forgetting to feed them, and B, they can't come outside. You actually don't need to feed them if you have all this, because they can just eat the grass. But uh, I keep forgetting to let them out, because I can't let them out at the moment. But... Hopefully I'll fix that soon, but until then, <laughs> I'll also try to uh, actually start farming. Mainly, like, lots of, uh, there is a little bit the fact that farming can get you a lot of money if you have a lot of crops, but it's also the fact that uh, I would like to be able to finish the farming, the farming section of the uh, Nemo stuff so that I can unlock the greenhouse which will allow me to grow anything at any point that I'd like because I can just quite simply put it inside of it and I will see if there's anything okay. just buying that so I can have it so I guess in fall I can plant it, or if I get, well no, I, I can't get the greenhouse before fall, can I? No, because I need fall crops. So I will plant that in fall, hopefully it'll grow into something nice. So, yep, and I will also have to do another like chunk of time when I have to get 
rid of all the, the weeds and rocks and sticks that are on the ground because they they regrew in between winter and spring. They just all, once spring first happened, they just all reappeared, which it's always funny to see. Real quick, I'm here to kind of check and see if there's any uh, anything that'll maybe come in handy. I mean, if I can find iridium down, you know, iridium here in the quarry real quick, that would be cool, but I uh, don't really expect to. But hey, you never know. So now, just another quick little thing. We've seen, I probably won't do, I mean, I'll probably just spend the day there, and then tomorrow, uh, I'll probably kind of roam around, just walking throughout the town, kind of showing off the town a little bit more, because... I, I've seen a couple of videos, but I don't know if I've really explored the town and kind of like shown some stuff. So I will probably do that. I'll probably actually kind of walk around the town, showing what some things are, showing uh, the whole area. All right, and then Pam should be appearing. There she is. Because she gets to the bus at 10.10 10 a.m. Why did they choose 10.10 10 a.m. and not... Uh, at 10 a.m. Why did they not choose an earlier time? I don't know. It'd definitely be a lot more convenient if she got here, you know, a little bit earlier. Just because I could definitely use, you know, more time here. Even though I believe that technically, uh, I believe that time is slown while in uh, the Skull Cavern. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Which would be, isn't any surprise to me if I was mistaken. Wow. Already taking dumb damage. This, this is the strat. You just stand here. Except for against these. You can't like spam click because sometimes like, they will fly past. And that is where I got the spicy eel from. Which speaking of spicy eel, I will probably eat that in just a moment. Let me... Or, oh, I didn't grab the, the crab cakes. I was supposed to grab the crab cakes, but I did not. So that'll get me back up to full, and then I can... Ooh, real spastic looking stuff from these guys now. Okay, let's stop doing the spastic movement that moves through my blade and moves through me. I just full healed if you guys did not do your weird looking attacks. Ooh, diamond. Boop, 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 boop. But yeah, this is basically what it is, is uh, certain mobs drop certain things. You cannot kill those without the Bug Slayer enchantment, which I think I went over. Anytime, I don't know how well if it actually picks up, but if you heard that sound effect, uh, that is a dragon guy who you saw just at the top of the screen, uh, that means that one of them has like spawned off screen and is going to be targeting you. So, you know. Do, uh, this game is one of those, oh, full-on iridium bar from these guys. These are, I believe these are not, I don't think these are called purple slimes. I actually believe that they are called iridium slimes. So they actually have a chance to drop iridium ore. I did not know they had a chance to just drop full iridium. The fact that they can is pretty dope, actually, because uh, that means that I definitely will be targeting these guys way. I mean, I already kind of targeted and killed them majority of the time, because... Uh, just kind of want the XP for adventuring to try to level that up so I can get whatever the next perk is at level 10. Also, it is an HP increase, and, uh, HP increase is always very helpful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I will usually try to mine bigger rocks if... Like, it's convenient, like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it. Uh, but I usually like to mine them, because they give a lot of stone. Uh, and then I can use, if I ever really needed to, I could actually make a staircase, and then just take the staircase down. So that I can, uh, just skip a floor if I really need to. Which, I haven't done so far, but, you know, there's definitely going to be a time where it'll certainly be helpful to skip a floor or two. So, getting as much stone as possible, which also means that I'm kind of saving up a lot of stone, as I'm also attempting to, uh, I'm supposed to get to the hundredth floor because somebody is waiting there for me, who, if I'm not mistaken, 
is actually okay I will just wander a little bit around to see if there's anything else just a dragon you don't come to me by the time I get to these stairs whoa Sick. I definitely probably wouldn't be rushing quite as fast as I am, but I'm mainly going a little bit faster and a little less observant of stuff, just because I'm I want to showcase as much of the mines, like trying to get lower. Uh, the main way to like really jump through the mines is to just get one of these right here. Which I believe I did actually get one of these. You jump in, fell six levels. Take a little bit of fall damage, but that can be healed up by eating an egg. Or by potentially, I don't know how much I'll get. Let me see. 120 out of 140. 2 HP. So, uh, not the most, but the good thing about like a uh, way to really heal. I think I actually saw already on there. I think I saw a rhythm out of the, out of the corner of the screen. These guys can heal you so much, because you'll kill one, and then they'll spawn into... I believe it's two to four more will spawn from killing them. Uh, and then you can just quite simply uh, kill a whole bunch of things. They get a little health back. So. As you see, my health is all the way back up to, to full. Just because of good old slimes. Thank you, slimes. And a little bit of Iridium Ore. Goes a long way, honestly. And this is why I have the Mega Bombs. Because they blow up a huge area. So you can basically just go like this. And make sure you get out of the way. And then continue mining for a little bit. And you come back. And looky, looky there. What do we got here? Switch. Ooh, yep. Okay. There we go. That problem taken care of. Ah. Okay, if I can swing to the left when I'm looking to the left and clicking to the left, that would be a really cool game, because I definitely don't want to be swinging upwards when he is not upwards. Sweet. Hey, a little bit of spicy eel, so I can... Extra spicy eel for not the benefits, but just because I can really use the health at this point. Come on, the smaller purple slime. Ah, oh, man, I did not mean to kill him right then. I wanted to try to keep him alive just a half a second longer. Alright, let's, uh, let's blow up mid. Sweet, okay. I would probably actually stay down there for a bit longer to. I probably would stay down there a bit longer to try to kill everything, just so that I can get all the, uh, the XP towards leveling up, and also, yep, because I have not leveled up just yet, all the XP, and then potentially, because they're all Iridium Slimes, the potential chance that I can get something from killing Iridium Slimes, because I don't know if it's all, yep, any Iridium Slime, any of these purple fellers here have the chance to drop Iridium items from me, which... I will definitely take an iridium anything, an iridium bar, an iridium ore, even just like one iridium ore is just even, it's just great because there, there are times where I will go through basically the entirety of, uh, of uh, like a you know, playthrough down here. Uh, I'll go through like an entire kind of like run you know, nice little system down here, and I will just, I will never have gotten a, uh, a thing, so it's kind of like, like a single, uh, iridium vein, so it's like, oh, I don't really gain too much rest from being down here, so getting to actually get at least one is very nice. Those is idiot. Oof. Five levels. I love the sound effect. It's like I just, I just full on, on the flat of my back, just... 
most painful way to fall, but hey, dude, I take it like a champ. I am an unit, dude. That's what they say about me. Cody the Unit Bray. That's, that's what they call me, you know? Who is they, you might ask? I don't know why you're asking, but uh, if you could not ask, that'd be really cool. Eek, eek, eek. Okay. So I guess I gotta get going. Whoop. Another six levels. Grab that, grab that. And we'll keep on running, running, running. Psych, idiot. Actually, I saw Amethyst that I wouldn't have mind getting. Although, Amethyst isn't the most... I mean, it is the sought, uh, sought after gem for me, but it is not like, oh, gee, I have to mine. It's, uh, neither of those big old chunks of it that I blew up I got any, huh? Oh, there it is. Ah, that's uh, an iridium ore. They seem to have like a pretty decent chance of being an iridium ore crab though. Which means that rather than getting iridium ore, there's actually just a straight up chance that when you kill the crab, you don't get the ore at all. But there is a chance you get crab cakes from killing them. So it's like, cool, I got crab cakes, but yeah. It might be that if I... If I use my pickaxe to crush the thing first, I actually would like guarantee getting it, but uh, I am not here to be swinging my pickaxe for a minute attempting to get out of that. I am just, currently I'm just trying to bum rush this area to try to get as deep as I possibly can. Just because, usually I probably wouldn't actually want to do this, but this actually is really helpful because these kings will, on average, have like some decent rewards in them, and they probably will have some decent stuff. A couple of army geodes, good bit of geodes, but the more, the most important thing uh, to me, at least, was the uh, farm Kelly. I believe I saw I got correct. I didn't. Indeed, a warp totem farm. So that means that I can actually, I can actually stay here a little bit longer than I'd like, and uh, at any time I can actually just teleport home, which makes uh, the cave, this whole desert thing, a lot easier. I will drop some stuff. Probably see if there's anything that I can. Ah, uh, let me check a look at this Joja can. Cool. Now I have a good bit of gemstones, which means I am going to make a handsome chunk of change when I get home, because that is a lot of gems I'm currently selling. Probably should destroy all of those, but to be honest, I probably can go down another floor, maybe two, and then teleport home using the totem. Usually, for the most part, like the totems, you kind of want to keep because they're very rare to get. But uh, it seems like you actually get the farm totems fairly often, from what I've seen while here in the mines. Huh? I am surprised that there was like nothing. This is the only mob that has been here. Interesting. Okay, well. Sick. But yeah, I guess this has been showcasing more of the desert rather than just me. <laughs> then, like, the. What, like, three floors that I was on? No, I think I got to floor 25, maybe. I don't remember if I got to floor 25 on camera or not. If I did, I know I actually got something. Uh, from getting to floor 27, there was like actually a, uh, like a, a treasure chest thing that I found that gave me, I think, like a something decent, something kind of cool. Oh, it gave me a, uh, uh, a slime egg, I believe. Like, it gave me, I think, an iridium slime egg. I want to see. 
pick up the whole deck, gamer. Nope, you do not get the, uh, you don't get Iridium if you break through shell. Ah, oh, okay, well, he'll still drop me an Iridium, which I actually could have been just straight up from killing him. Like, it might not have been from the fact that he is an Iridium enemy. But, hey, we gotta kill some of these. A, hey, I would like that, so I'll sell that. Oh. And that's an actual Iridium War. Pick up the deck game. Right, I'll kill this real quick, like, and then I will farm Telly home. Oh, cool. Topaz, Jade. Okay, so I will get this and then I'll go home. <laughs> Boom. Teleport home. And, yep, I get amethyst all the time from that little thing. And ooh, another three iridiums. That's that was pretty eventful, I gotta say. So I can sell, sell, sell. Uh, actually, I'll keep that. I gotta say, that was pretty eventful, getting a handsome chunk of Iridian, a full Iridian bar. I might have enough Iridian to make the Iridian ring, which if I do have enough to make the Iridian ring, or the Iridian band, whatever it is, the spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. Well, I don't have anything that would actually be damaged by that, I believe, so. Nah, it's gonna be clear and sunny all day, okay. And there's some Iridium. Uh, fresh apricot. Alright. Whatever you want, Emily. I will maybe get to that eventually. Ooh, I have six. And this is what I got. A purple slime egg can be hatched in a slime incubator. Which is why I'm keeping that. Because I believe I need like a hundred in order to make it. Yep. hundred slime. So hopefully I'll have that soon. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'll probably make th these two. Because I can compress a hundred pieces of slime into an egg. And then I can put them through this to do something. It allows you to raise slimes outdoors, so I can just have like a slime farm, I guess. And I have the purple slime egg, which means that I can be getting the unique purple slime. Which I think means that I can have essentially an iridium farm, kind of. Which would be really cool. And then you go back through and you do the same thing. Because this will put anything that is already in that chest. Bring that out, take one of these. Yep, because it'll put into any open inventory slot that is in here. Put that away so we don't actually plant the seed. Cool. I can take that out because I will actually put that in the fridge as it is food, and food belongs in the fridge. Okay, wow, that was actually pretty eventful, I gotta say. I don't know if I, uh, I will see. I'll probably have to start, like, just getting a whole bunch of stone to make a bunch of stairs to, like, more pro like, properly go down there and get everything, but I gotta say, for not being, like, fully set and prepared to absolutely get the dub or anything like that from down there. No, okay. I was thinking if one of those might have been an apricot, but probably not. So, I'm not really expecting to have gone, like, that far down. I got surprised in the far. Definitely did a lot better than I had 
uh, anticipated. So I can't complain on how well that went. Uh, yeah. So now today is just gonna be a lot more peaceful, relaxed day. As I kind of run around, maybe do a little bit of you know foraging to pick some stuff up. Uh, I'm here to deliver a berry because it's here. Uh, you need a pomegranate, pendant. Boop. And I don't think I have anything else yet because you don't have any fruits. You don't need any fruits. You need apple, but I don't got apple. That needs a fish. And I don't believe that anything I have would be needed to, oh, actually, maybe uh, the entirety of an orange. That's it. Just, just an orange. That is, that is not cash money, dog. I was hoping that I could probably put a few more of those in. Uh, I could have bought that large goat milk for here, but... That's whatever. Everything else is uh, the three seasons that can grow uh, fruit or f grow uh, stuff on your farm. And then the last thing is uh, to grow the. Uh, where is it at? There it is. Stone Junimo. So. Yeah, it's a little. Hopefully I'll be able to finish those bundles at some point. It's definitely just going to be that I need to start farming. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get the farm actually, you know, going so I can get everything, but that'll just be another time. Uh, the trash. Oh, Harvey, can you go away so I can go through the trash? So that'll definitely just be a long time before I can really finish those, because first off, I have to get Ollie back into fall. How? How? First off, you know, I gotta get Ollie back into fall to get the fall crops and stuff. Uh, and then everything else is just, A, I have to be lucky enough to get enough gold quality of uh, certain items so that I can get, uh, I can get the stuff that I need. Like the high quality uh, corn, parsnips, pumpkin, or melons. I just need three of these. So, I'll get those eventually. And then, you know, I need to all uh, the spring crops, which is now I'll have to get more. I'll have to actually grow my farm a bit more. Wait until fall. Wait until summer. And then uh, all of that will be done. You won't see me, right? Thank you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, so... This video will only be a little bit longer. I will... I'm not just gonna, like, go to sleep and waste this entire day. Even though I am essentially just wasting this entire day as I'm not really doing anything. I, I could go into the farm or into uh, the normal mine or even the quarry you know what let's head to the quarry and let's actually oop, i guess real quick at this aquamarine oop. which i believe i did i don't know if i've actually shown the quarry i probably have just don't remember because my memory is just not the good but this is what the the quarry in whole looks like. So, yeah, actually, what just happened is what happens when you get co-op is you swing, you hit them, but instead of bouncing back, they'll go through you, or like the knockback will have happen afterwards. So, uh, instead of being knocked way back or flying through, they'll fly through a little bit, and then they'll be affected by the knockback, which will send it back into you, so you get hit by it twice at once which is not uh not the catch money dog because that is way more damage than i should be taking knowing that i shouldn't have taken any damage but hey sometimes game has game mechanic issues only in co-op though in single player it is fairly good it doesn't really have any like oddities where uh, something isn't you know affected by knockback or isn't affected by 
the damage or the block function. Man, coming down here and fighting these is uh, definitely a lot easier than the desert. Nope. Yeah, I I'll take you both on. Come at me, kids. I fight dragons. Spooky haunted skulls are nothing to me. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, you want some? Oh, you coming after me? Oh, I'm sorry there, big guy, but uh, I'm just a little bit bigger. So, yeah, none of these, like, you can't, there isn't, like, a, you know, a ladder underneath any of these stones, so there's no real point in breaking them. I mean, like, it'll give you stone, so I guess that is the point in breaking them, but, yeah. And then he'll usually have the golden scythe. You click them, you get the teleport animation, and you're back here. And then you can come back down, and I don't think that anything respawns. I believe that, yeah, once you complete it, uh, it is done for the day, but then uh, tomorrow everything will respawn. And it'll always be, yeah, you can't see it, but uh, it'll always be the same floor layout, so it'll never be like, you know, you go in and then you have to try to figure out the new labyrinth that it's created it'll always just be that kind of like movement like this to get you up and out so it's kind of nice the fact that it isn't like a revolving constant changing thing yep crap show ring plus five defense dude like i, I don't honestly i don't know what the best rings would be. I mean, I gotta say, it, it, like, it definitely has to be one, I feel like the vampire ring is almost like one of those very strong ones, but so the, can the crab shell ring? And then the, uh, the iridium band is definitely just one of those, like, you gotta have that on, because that'll give you the magnet, that'll give you damage up, that'll give you light, like, if it also gave defense, then, I mean, yeah, like, glow, attract, and damage. Like, if it also gave defense, that would be awesome, because honestly, anything that gives you defense, because there isn't that much in the game that gives you defense. The things that really do are the shoes, like any whatever boot you're wearing, those give defense, but like, other than that, oh, hello, what? Haha, me married. Uh, I don't have anything on me that you love, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Anybody's birthday coming up? Uh, Lewis. Uh, nobody I really care about in the month. So. And then the egg festival. Which, uh, I'll get to showcase these this time. And I like to be able to dance with somebody for this. And maybe I'll do an episode of the egg festival. Uh,. I actually should have one or two, so I should be able to go and give them, give it to them for a little bit of gold and for Elliot to be Hapai. And I would like to make Elliot Hapai as he is a good character. So, uh, at my iridium bar. Yeah, but like you can't get armor or anything like that in this game so you can't like rapidly and like have a massive that gives fishing uh, you can't have like a rapid and massive increase in defense do I have just the one? if I have just the one then that's fine no I have another one good so I just have to give it to Elliot yep so the main things would be your boots which give I think at the moment, the best boots are these ones, which is four, but I believe you can either find or make boots that give five defense. Uh, and then the other things would be certain weapons, such as my Lava Katana, giving me plus three defense. And then, uh, as you saw, here it is, the Crab Shell Ring will give five defense. So, a couple of items, you know, a couple of extra items do give defense, but really the only time that you're getting defense is from boots and I don't know how high of defense you can really get oh, I oh no it is come 
here, George. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. Was that your favorite thing? Uh, it's an odd thing to have Leek to be your favorite, but hey, I won't judge, but I am. But that's alright. I mean, you know. Hello, Elliot. You probably wouldn't like inside my cabin. Strike full of spiders. I've been in your cabin, my guy. It is not really dark, and I don't remember seeing any spiders. But I could be mistaken. But hey, you, you'd say and do what you do, big guy. Yeah. So. But hey, this video is just about wrapped up, because I'm probably just going to sell all these... I'm probably going to go run... Oh, get out of my way. Why, why was that be your pathing, Vincent? You lunatic. I'm going to give Donut this aquamarine, and then sell everything. And then I'll probably uh, head to bed, because there isn't too much to do at this point. I mean, I could start my... I probably should, but I'm not. I could start my garden, all my farming stuff. Uh, that'll be certainly a very helpful thing to do. But, uh... I'm not, so, sorry, <laughs> that'll all be off screen, I mean, I don't know how interesting it'll really be to watch me farm, Ooh. I don't know how interesting it would be to watch me farm, but maybe I'll do a little bit of farming here or there on screen, I mean, once I get the farm going and I have everything kind of set up properly, uh, it'll definitely be a lot more interesting. I mean, like, not a lot more interesting, but, uh, like, easier and more often I can showcase it. As the fact that every time I come outside of my house, it'll all be right there in front of me. Just instantly, so I don't have to, like, ooh, no, no, no. I don't have to, like, run all the way to somewhere to do it. It'll literally just be walk outside of my house, do the thing. Yippee ki yay, we have, we've done, we've, we've done the darnest, guys, so, but yeah, I'm just going to put all of that in there, and I guess I'm actually gonna, do I have, I believe it's two, let me get that out, and where's all the slime, what else was needed, oh, just these, boop, do it yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, am I blind? Oh, okay, I guess it hasn't changed. S hatches slime eggs into slimes, allow you to raise slimes outdoors. I mean, I guess I will go ahead and put you right there. You have fun, slime. Don't, uh, don't try, try not to die, I guess. And then I will make the, uh, the, f uh, egg, the egg slime press machine thingy of a bob, uh, whenever I can, so I can actually start getting slime eggs. So, a whole lot of fun. Nice, made a grand on the day. That's not bad, not, not bad. Alrighty, and today's the day. <laughs> I would not have invited those kids, dude. When Cody first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Cody is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor on this day seven of spring to unite Cody and Abigail in the bonds of marriage. Look at this dude, I'm a giant. <laughs> well, let's get right to it. Cody, Abigail, as the mayor of Pelican Town and the regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Kiss. Definitely kissing. Then Marnie starts vibing. Look at her. They're dancing for whatever reason. She's coming up to square up with me. Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright. Stay determined. 
Yeah, so cool thing, I guess, real quick. Uh, first off, the wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? Well, we can't forget about the farm. Time to get to work. So, I'm not gonna click the mail because it's it'll disappear. I also shouldn't do this, but I did. I'll have to redo it. But uh, basically, she now lives on my farm. She gets her own like nice little extension. Every character has their own unique one. Uh, she brought her TV and her game. David Jr., her drum kit, her Ouija board, her sword. Uh, and then, I guess kind of the better thing is that you now can get to 14 stars, and there is a 14 star event. And you guys will also sleep in uh, the same bed together. I know. Ooh, sleep in the same bed. Oh, how scandalous. But yeah. But uh, that does it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, then consider hitting the like button and commenting down below what you guys did enjoy so I can continue doing it. If you guys didn't like the video, then go ahead and dislike so I know what to do better to make these videos just better for you guys. If you guys want to know when I upload, the best way to know is by subscribing. But that does it for this video. Until then, bye guys!